Oh, YouTube Neptune Courier. <laughs> uh, Friday morning, I said I wasn't going to post today. But last night's collection was, it turned out to be what I, for me, one of the coolest things that I think I've been asked to do. So I went and picked up these three boxes of things and the guy said, oh, they're labels for COVID something or other. I thought, okay, no problem, I'll, I'll get them there. Driving north, M6, shut again, accident. Took a detour at Preston, went inland, went up, I think it was the A59, A65. Really quite a big detour. And I thought, have I made the right decision? Should I have just sat in the motorway traffic? Anyway, by the time I'd, you know, this is the M6, by the time I'd come all the way around, it was like an 80 mile detour I took. I got back onto the M6. I was listening on the radio to people saying, we're stuck in traffic on the M6. It hasn't moved for three hours. So I was really glad I made that decision. Got up, got tipped. And when I got there um, to the airport, the, the guy was uh, waiting for me. And they said, oh, such and such will be there waiting for you. And I drove around and it's this type of place where you have the back of the airfield and you've got a hangar door on, say, the public side and a hangar door on air side, as it would call, or on the apron. So the guy's there, he says, oh, okay, I've got some, oh, yeah, you've got the labels for me, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for you, that's fine. And uh, I start to take them out of the van, and he says, can you do me a favour, can you drive them out to the aircraft? I was like, oh, wow, I'm getting to drive actually onto the airfield, and that's never happened before. Every time I've been on a plane, it's always been, oh, don't go near the plane, or I've done my helicopter training, don't touch the helicopter, and oh, everyone's super serious. This guy was cool, cool as anything, cool as you were, like, yeah, 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 just drive through. So I'm driving through, the helicopter blades are going over the top of the van, and I think, oh, do a lot of damage if I get this wrong. Drove out to the apron and um, loaded the helicopter. Or he loaded the helicopter, I didn't load the helicopter. Um, so I'm writing out the line and I'm chatting, so I, you know, when are you taking off tomorrow sometime? He says, no, I'm going to shut the hangar door, I'm jumping in it and I'm off. And I thought, that sounds awfully relaxed and calm. And yeah, so I drove back through the hangar. The little video's on there, not sure if the video should be there, private property, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to stick it on. Anyone doesn't like it, just tell me. I'll take it off. Um, and we drive back through the hangar. The guy's like, signs the line. Okay, cheers now, bye. And I thought, the guy's wearing his trainers, a pair of jeans, a t-shirt, <laughs> his mobile phone sticking half out of his pocket. And he walks around to this super cool helicopter and the video clip doesn't show how cool the helicopter was. Looked brand new, shiny black. Inside was leather seats. It looked more like a sports car inside, actually. Anyway, drove out. He says... Uh, you know, uh, that's everything. He says, um, everything all right? I said, yeah, it's fantastic. He says, do you want to watch the helicopter take off? Just go around the corner. And I said, no, I want to come with you on this little 45-minute trip. And he just looked at me and smiled. But I wonder if, if he knew me a little bit more, he'd let me join him for this little quick run he was doing. That would have been unbelievably cool. Anyway, there's a little video there of um, the helicopter taking off. It's not very good, but uh, it's just kind of amazing because by the time I'd... Um, walked round to this other fence maybe 150 metres he'd already had it cranked up I mean I guess he'd done his paperwork and pre-flight checks previously he had it cranked up and he was pulling off and, and he was away and I thought it was cool as and then um, on the way out I noticed they had a little aircraft museum and some super cool aircraft two of my favourite aircraft were there the Vulcan Bomber and the English Electric Lightning fantastic aeroplane um, 1950s, one of the first supersonic jets that was really capable. Anyway, I didn't get a picture of the lightning, lightning because it got dark by then. Anyway, hope you like it. Sorry about the chit chat. Catch you later. It's a Vulcan bomber. I can't believe it. It's fantastic. <laughs>